Hello guys, Danny here. In today's video, I'm going to show you some alternatives to the iOS 7 calendar app. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of the calendar application in iOS 7. Now, don't get me wrong, I do like the iOS 7 update and generally I like most things about it, but one thing I really don't like is the calendar. I'm sure I'm not alone on this, but even if you do like the application, who knows, you may find a better one in this video. I am quite interested to know what you guys think of iOS 7's calendar app. Uh, drop a comment below. And if you are using a different application, then let us know about that as well. So on using the calendar application for the first time, I did really like the clean design, but the thing I really didn't like was the lack of different views you could have to view your calendar. So for example, you've got this day view, which personally doesn't suit me. I don't make that many appointments, so I don't need to see my whole day. So if I've got maybe one or two appointments here, I've got to kind of scroll all the way through to just see what's going off for that day. It doesn't suit me at all. And this kind of month view, it's kind of useful, but again, it doesn't give you enough information at a glance. One thing I do miss from the iOS 6 calendar application was the list view. Now it's not totally absent in iOS 7 because you can bring it up by just hitting the search button, but it's kind of a clunkier way to bring the list view up. In iOS 6 you could have the list view showing by default, which I much preferred. So there's a few other reasons why I didn't like the application, but I'm not going to ramble on too much about that. Um, let's concentrate more on the alternatives. So in this video I'm going to be showing you two paid applications which are extremely cheap, and one free application which I really liked as well. One thing I do want to make clear on before I show you these three applications is that all three work fine with iCloud Calendar and also the Google Calendar. So these applications will sync up fine with the default calendar and also sync up with all your other devices perfectly fine. So there's no reason why these applications can't be a replacement for the default app. So the first application I'm going to show you is Agenda. Now this is a calendar application that I've been using for a few days now and I really like it. Now probably the main reason I like it is it's very minimal. It does have that list view which I personally really like. With Agenda being quite minimal, it does fit in very well with iOS 7. It's got the iOS 7 look about it. And funny enough, this application has been out a number of years so it's definitely not iOS 7 inspired even though it does look very similar. Now one thing I would note is that it has got more of a bolder font about it so it's not 100% iOS 7 looking but it's pretty damn close. So that does lead me to the impression that the developer will update this application soon or even bring out a new app. So as I said I really like the simple design of the application but I also like the controls it does do a very good job of using swipes. So as you can see here we've got the list view which we can scroll through. If you tap the top of the screen it will bring you to the current day which is really handy. If we swipe to the right it brings us to the day view slash month view. As you can see here, you can swipe up or down to cycle through the days. Also on this screen, we can quickly cycle through the months. If you want to jump to a certain date, just tap the date on the month view and it'll bring you to that day. Also what's nice is you can customize this view a little bit. So if you want to make the list view a little bit larger, you can do, which is quite handy. If we swipe to the side, it brings up multiple months at once. So if you want to like jump to a particular month really quickly, this is a good view and it gives you a good overview of the year. And if we swipe again, it brings us to our settings. I won't go into too much detail on the settings, but what I would say is you can customise which view you have as default. So if you like the list view, you can have that as your default view. If you like the day view, you can have that. So whatever you want. And then overall, there's good customization and tweaks you can make in the settings, which is really nice. So to add an event, it's quite easy. All you do is hit the plus sign. Now you'll find this on any of the different views. Hit the plus sign and it'll bring you up your little event window. So we can type in the name of the event, such as test for this example. Choose the length of the event or we can hit all day if we want to. If we hit this full screen button or the alarm button, it brings us up more options. Now, I personally just leave it to default. I have it set in the settings for the alarms to go off at a certain time every day. But if you want to have a little bit more um, customization, you can do. One thing I look for in a calendar application is when I'm actually entering an event, I like it to be really simple and quick. And I find this application does do that pretty well. So there we have a quick overview of the application Agenda Calendar 4. Probably my favourite calendar application in the App Store. So the next application I'm going to show you is Fantastical. Now this is one of my favourite calendar applications. It's definitely very popular. As you can see from the design and look of it, it's very iOS 6 looking. It's kind of got its own unique style to it as well. But it's definitely not an iOS 7 inspired application. Now I'm sure the developer will update this application at some point or bring out a newer version. But at the moment, as you can see here, it's got an iOS 6 look to it. Personally, that doesn't bother me, but I will be interested to see what the developer actually does in the future. When you do launch the application, you are struck by this list view. Now, this is kind of the main view, but you can tweak it a little bit. So as you can see here, you can scroll up or down to view what's coming up in your calendar. Also, you can use the calendar at the top to cycle through the days. If you pull down on this, it will bring up the month view, which is a really good way to cycle through the months really quickly. And also, you can just tap on any date in the calendar to jump to that selected date. So in the top corner you can see the cog there which brings the settings up so we've got a few things we can tweak which is nice. I won't go into too much detail here. 
and to the right side in the corner you can see the plus sign and that's how we add an event. There is a few ways you can add an event. The first one is just typing a sentence out. So as you can see here, I've typed dentist Monday 12 o'clock and the application is clever enough to actually work out what you're trying to say and it adds the event to your calendar as you can see here. So it does a pretty good job. If you would prefer, you can go into add event and go to show details and this will allow us to add the event in more manually, kind of how we're used to it in iOS 6 and also you can tweak some of the settings. So there we have it guys, a quick overview of the application Fantastical. Definitely one of my favourite calendar applications in the App Store and I do prefer it over the iOS 7 calendar app. So the final application I want to show you is Simple Calendar. Now this is a free application so definitely worth a go. As you can see from here it's got the list view and this is the only view you've got. Um, so this is what makes it really simple. Now you could use this alongside the iOS 7 calendar application. If you, um, you may find the both work well together which is something I considered doing. But in saying that guys this is a fully functional calendar application so you could use it just on its own as your standalone calendar app. As long as you're happy to stay in the list view all the time. So as you can see here, I'm cycling through the, all the dates and to get to the top, unfortunately, you've got to cycle all the way back down, but it's not too much of a hassle, as you can see there. Um, to add an event, you just hit one of the plus signs next to one of the days and then we can type in a title and also put in our time and date for our event. So it works pretty well. So that's a quick overview of Simple Calendar. As the title suggests, it's a very simple calendar, which I think would be perfect for a lot of people because some of the other calendar applications can be a little bit more complicated to use. And this is definitely the most easiest. And it's a really nice application, which is definitely worth a download. So there we have it, guys, some of my favorite calendar apps for the iPhone. If you did find this video helpful, then please get a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.